Et voilà. Hello. Hi. So Scott and John. And John. Yeah. So we are here in München to see um, Wim Hof. So you're instructors. I see team Wim Hof method. That's you're, right, yeah. you're instructors of, of the method. Exactly. Yeah. So what 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 do you do? You bring this to many people? Yeah, I'm I'm a full time Wim Hof method instructor. It's all I do. So and and I tour Austria all the time. Okay. Just, just all so in Austria. every country you have experts. You have uh, yeah. people who um, and and what you bring to people when you do that? Yeah, well, well I, I, we, we teach them the, the breath work and the, the, the cold exposure, of course. Of course. Um, for me, I kind of had a miracle just through the breathing techniques. So I'm kind of like the, the, a, a breathing guy. I get more excited about the breathing than the cold. Um, but yeah, the whole system, it's, it's, it keeps you strong up here. It's really about the mind-body connection. So from what I understood, it's a way to bypass your brain through the physical uh, nervous system and so then you get your brain to do many things. Yeah, it's, it's taking control of your system. It's putting you in control. So for people who are interested, and of course Vim, Vim is very busy, and uh, he has developed this um, network of, of, of experts, of trainers. So how, how can they know more about this? And how can they, they get to know you in Austria or others in their own countries? The, the easiest way is the WimHoffMethod.com platform. We're all listed on that platform. Um, that's the easiest way to find us. Most of us have got our own own, own sites and Facebook and everything, of course. Um, social media, it's, it's everyone's on social so, media. Now. And it's, it seems also to be, um, you know, it's not a, it's really cool uh, community. Yeah. It's not just, a, can you show us the, the place we're going to do the, the yeah, thing let's, today? Let's come in here. This is a really special place. Yeah. It's a beach club. Yeah. So there's beach volleyball and, and all sorts of stuff happens here normally. It's yeah, inside beach, as well. Beach parties. Exactly, yeah. So it's all sand. We'll be lying on the sand here. Good acoustics. We'll have 450 people here wow. breathing. Um, and until you, you'll see it later on, the energy, yeah, that just builds when 450 people are breathing together. It gets pretty crazy, pretty special, quite intense. Um, yeah, and, and all sorts of things will happen. Like people have like emotional breakthroughs, releasing trauma, releasing tension. Some people will just have fun. Um, some people will just have a nicer day because of it, um, and it prepares you for the cold bath too. But good, um, it's it's fun. So I have a I am today with a cold myself. I came here. Yeah. My my my, my nose is running and sickly. Am I am I going to get cured or am I going to get worse? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. It could get better. Yeah. But you get rid of a lot of of of, of rubbish from your system. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You get rid of a lot of the toxins and stuff that, that, that are in you there, yeah. So it's a big worldwide success. And uh, how can people learn to become... Uh, so people who want to start, they can come to one of those shows or they can contact one, one of the trainers, experts yeah. like you. <laughs> and how can people become experts themselves? Well, you've got, to, you've got to love it, yeah, because you can't really pretend, yeah. There's a lot of science and academics involved in this, but you can't pretend. You've got to love it and live it yourself. You've got to be... You love the breath work. You've got to love the cold. If you don't love the cold, then yeah, you'll get found out. You can, you can't just just wiggle your way through the um, instructor training. So if you love it, you're passionate about it. Yeah, then then that's that's the main thing. Okay, how did you start yourself? I had a um, uh, an injury, a sport injury, oh. um, doing judo. Uh, I got thrown badly and had really bad problems with my discs, and I was going to need operations. But it was like seven of my discs in my back were, were screwed. Um, so nothing helped, no physio. I had a, a referral for a, a surgeon. And then I, I just happened to stumble across the Wim Hof method. And within three minutes, everything was okay. Excellent. Three minutes. Well, thank you very much. So I'll see you around in the, while doing the exercises. Yeah, enjoy Take day, care, man. Scott. Enjoy Thanks. Day. Thank you. So everyone is on a small mat, huh? Yeah. So hi, I'm Piero. I'm Wolf, hi. Hi. I'm uh, first time. Me too. Oh, okay. Where do you come from? From Switzerland. Switzerland. So almost 500 people today. Yeah, I hope so, yeah.
Still audio test. Audio, 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 audio. Echo, 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 echo. Bravo, Papa Delta, Kilo. Yankee. Yes, not good yet, but you're getting at it. It's like tuning a guitar. It's like tuning to your emotion. Go far. Yep. Yeah. Big sound here. So one and a half year, they prepared this. 
because they must find how to deal with stress in psychiatry. Stress is depression, anxiety, fear, trauma, all those things. We don't know the way. Then they saw this crazy Dutchman. I live on the same planet as you guys. We made this board, but we actually won. Because I read your hair, vice versa. We are one. Look at Gabriel. First this this research. They had to prepare one and a half years ago because they wanted to find <coughs> an answer, an impossible answer, how to tackle stress, how to tackle anxiety, fear, depression, and all that. And it's growing in the world, isn't it? It is. And we have no control. So why not try out the great judgment who is going under the ice? in stress and maybe you found something. Take you in the bridge, me. Going there, <coughs> being there, and I should go to the same thing. Cold skin temperature going down. Warm going up. Cold coming down. And up, and up, and up. Four sessions. Losing the way under the eyes, hanging by one finger, 
this finger <laughs> between two hot air balloons up in the sky in February. You lose dexterity when you are with your hands in the winter time, hanging by one finger. What is all that? That deep sense, that deep sense of trust in my body, more than I would think about, but feel the power of that. That I felt that one. Now I wanted to be universally fully confident. Signed. I made even jokes. Because I had it done. I had all wrapped myself inside. And I trusted it so deeply because I recognized it. Every time when I did a bracket, I did the same thing. I had it in my mind. I see, I feel, I see, I feel. I can do it, and the rest is history. It's going to be done. But there are what? The brain scan. And in the brain scan, you cannot move. If you move, you get a blurred vision on the monitors, and they have no results. So they ask you not to do anything. The only thing you can do is Losing your mind. No deep breathing, no contractions of muscles or anything. You cannot do that. Later this day, Professor Powell, the immunologist, who sung a very good one, called the Stone of Wisdom, because he knows all how to translate all the things I say into. Uh, scientific language and make it nice. He's got some great wit. He's going to explain it. I will, I challenge Professor Capel to explain and translate what I'm going to tell now into scientific language because it is all new. It is the pinnacle of science. It is the spearhead of science. We found the answers how to tackle the inner terrorist. And brain happens, brain, the control over the emotion when it goes wrong. We found it. So what did they do? They put me in the brain scan. The most remarkable thing happened they were waiting for. They found brain activity in the eyes. <laughs> but besides of that, the whole came out. It comes in by a suit full of tubes, and then the skin temperature goes down, you cannot do anything. This is what they thought. But because of that trust, learned in nature, extreme even, nature in the, in the extremes, that trust, that ability, I applied. There it was. Paul came in, skin temperature did not go down. And it stayed eight times the period of time being exposed to this stressor, the cold. It stayed fully above, no influence whatsoever of this stressor. Because I had programmed with the power of our mind, we are born with deal with the stress. Then they looked inside of the brain <coughs> and they saw the activation of the deepest part of the brain, unknown to science. We as humans were not able, dictated by science, to 
influence into the deepest part of our brain, the brain stem, peri aqueductal drain hemisphere, the endocannabinoid system, the opioids. That what makes you feel good. Cannabinoids, Amsterdam. <laughs> but now there is more, the opioids as well. And a lot of energy. So happiness, strength, and health resides within our own <coughs> brain. And we have shown the connection at will with those areas and thus stress on biochemical level is no longer an issue. We are built to be able to remain happy, dopamine, serotonin, cannabinoids, the hormonal system, healthy to control over the immune cells about 1600 types of immune cells within us, making up the immune system in three layers. Only the first one we can influence, me showing that we can influence any level of the immune system. And with me, all of you after today. And then the strength to be in control of your adrenal axis to reset your body to your natural capacity, the way you were born with. It's all there. That is what I showed. That we are able to go to the deepest. And with the deepest, we are able to go anywhere else in our brain. And with that, we get to the question, are we able to Are we able to control 20% of our brain or 100? Hello? Hello? Did I mess up? I think so, eh? And you guys still can hear me? All right. It's all there. The gravity is we are able to take away depression, bipolar, and anxiety, and fear, trauma, and all that. Don't you think that is fucking bloody important? So there I am, walking here on stage, trying to convey something which is ours to own your own mind and not to be manipulated by whatever is going on and bring the news that we are innately by birthright capacitated to become the commander of our soul, the captain of our spirit and our emotion. That's us. That's gravity, guys. From now on, happy, strong and healthy is a question you can ask yourself when you rise in the morning and if you are not then you are in the bullshit area. And that bullshit area is the area where your mind is being manipulated through the wrong schooling, the unnecessary data, the unnecessary rules, ruled by a system that is exploiting the world, polluting the world, that is insensitive. And I want to break back that you are the master of your own emotion, and we have shown this in science. And that's why I'm here. Oktoberfest. They, they, they should learn about this. 
Because when you intoxicate, that is going to happen in the October fast. And people do this breathing that within 20 minutes, the hangover gets a hangover. It's all it's fun. And here we see the Wim Hof breathing. And here the pH changes, which are temporary. So during this whole method, you are up and down regulating and changing the pH in your blood. It doesn't mean that your entire body is acidic or alcoholic, then you don't make it. But if you get out of it, this reaction stops. The other type of stress, which we are fantastically trained to do, that is, oh, I'm so busy, busy, oh, and oh, I'm too late, I'm dead, I'm <laughs> the Grand Express. That also gives this energy boost, <laughs> but <laughs> total exhaustion. You go to put proteins, which are also called choke proteins, and I will show you that. So, if you have a short but intense little stress moment, which is the ice bath, then something happens. Whereas if you have a chronic, then it's totally different. And, uh, well, what do you prefer? That's, uh, uh, send me with WhatsApp, but that's my first ice bath. One of my first ice baths. What do you see on this guy's face? And I already give you one thing, focus. So it's about focus. Yes, it's about focus. Where do you want to focus on? You want to focus on the cold, on the pain, or you want to focus on the hot, on the warmth? You want to focus on the warmth, on the heart, or you can lay your hands on the thighs and you focus there. That's very important. Yes? So you go with your focus to the warmth, the heart or the thighs. Yeah? Not to the toes or the hands, because that can be a lot of pain, yes? And you want to have to focus on the warmth. What do we see more? Let me see. Trust. I'm not sure about that, but <laughs> it's important, yes? If you're frightful to go in, the eyes mirrors that fright. Yes? So better get to that intention we were talking about. And go to the intention why are you here, why do you want to go with the eyes and be that warrior, be that strong intention, go with that intention, no doubt, it's like an initiation ritual, you just go in, we do it all, we go to the same pain, <coughs> to the same feeling and we do it together, yes, so that strong mind I need when we go into the eyes. Oh, let go, <laughs> that's a funny one, what's letting go? When you take a shit, yes, you let go. No, yeah. oh, letting go in the ice bath doesn't mean take a shit in the ice bath. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have several groups going in the same ice bath. It is, in this case, you've got pushing through and you've got letting go. I always tell my participants, stay in the ice as if you have to stay in that ice the rest of your life. So you have to relax into the moment. That's letting go. If we have a tough guy and we go in for two minutes and he pushes through two minutes, that's not the exercise. You can push through, but it's about letting go and about reconnecting with the body. The people that can let go, they become sometimes really glowing, very hot, very strong and experienced. The people that want to do to push through on discipline, they have a hard time because they have to push through. And it's not about that, it's about trust, focus and let go. And the strong intention we were talking about, the warrior mind. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's another guy. Be your own scientist. Okay. What is so powerful about this ice bath? Why are 500 people in Munich want to go in an ice bath? This is why. The fight, flight, fight response. Anybody familiar with that? Out of the animal kingdom. When the predator sees a prey, the prey goes into fight, flight, fright. 
Uh, fried, 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 fried. So, visualize a ball of fire in the chest. That op that's optional. For some people who can visualize it works very good that you really visualize something really hot in the chest. Stay in the moment. Yes? The eyes is very powerful. We did some yoga poses, but with yoga poses you put yourself in a position that's not uh, nice, you know, and then you breathe through it. With yoga you can smuggle a little bit, you know, you can go in this, this. With the eyes it's not, it's in. You're in or you're out, yes? So it's a very powerful yoga exercise. You put yourself in an environment and then you have to relax. Embrace the cold. Yes, so just go to the cold. Let go, don't hold back, don't put your shoulders like this, don't go like this, just go to the cold. It's all about mindset. Yeah, so it's an exercise in mindset. Can you be relaxed? Can you let go? Can you focus? Can you go towards the cold? Can you stay in the body? Can you visualize? It's an invitation. And So we made it! Right on! Yes! It was great! We did it! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so two minutes in ice water. Actually, it's not so bad. It's pretty pretty easy. If you're used to it, like yeah. I am. But, uh, excellent! So, uh, I encourage every one of you to do it. It's, uh, it's a good exercise and uh, you never know. You know, global warming and all. Yeah. You need to manage the cold. Take care.